I think most of us know the feeling of asking AI for help with something and being impressed at first glance, only for it to end up being completely useless. It looks right and sounds professional, but when you actually try to execute the plan, you realize it's just generic advice and systems. This happens because of a few big problems. It plays way too safe, it doesn't know you well enough, and it's just hard to come up with the right words for what you need sometimes. I have a simple three-step system that solves each of those problems and can be used to learn or build anything really. Launch a product, build a website, research a topic, create a course, write a book, make an ad campaign, you get the idea. And this doesn't involve any sort of complex prompt engineering, which honestly misses the actual problem. So let's say I want to launch a product. Maybe I vibe coded an app and I need a launch plan. I can send a prompt and when it comes back, at first glance, this looks really good. But if I actually read through this, it's Fine. Since LLMs are essentially powerful prediction engines that find the most likely next word, you usually end up with the most widespread generic advice possible. It can do everything well, but it doesn't do any of it at an expert level by default. You really notice this if you ever ask it for help with something you're an expert in. You realize very quickly that its defaults aren't as great as you thought. The way we solve this is with step one, the expert anchor. We find the expert advice first. So for a product launch, I'd take a book like Alex Hormozzi's $100 million money models. I would upload the PDF, then tell it to analyze and extract the full system. So I'd use a prompt like this. Analyze the attached document and identify the core framework used for launching a product. Extract the step-by-step -step logic, the specific constraints mentioned, and the golden rules the author follows. Then create a comprehensive master guide that I can use as a foundation for my own project. Do not summarize, reconstruct the system. And this is called grounding. Now the results are grounded in a proven framework rather than a random average of the internet. You can tell right off the bat how different this is. Like the launch framework is not a classic marketing launch calendar. It's a money model build and deploy system, which is a sequence of offers presented in a deliberate order to solve the customer's next problem at the moment they recognize it. I'm not going to go through and explain everything it shows in here, but even just at a quick glance, you can tell how much better this result is than the previous prompt. Oh yeah, it's just not even close. This is exponentially more valuable. Now, if you don't know who the experts are for your goal, just ask the AI first. But don't just ask for names, you want to identify the actual operating systems of that niche. So use a prompt like this. Identify the top experts in your topic, launching an online course, and the signature frameworks they are known for. List their most important books or resources and specifically tell me where these experts disagree with each other. And I like that last part because it shows you the nuances that generic advice completely misses. And I tried to make this broadly applicable, Sometimes you might use a modified version of this prompt, but once it gives you that list, you know exactly what resources to track down. YouTube transcripts, PDFs, or research papers. You can use those as your expert anchor. Then you just run that same extraction prompt from before. Put simply, this step is upload expert sources and ask the AI to create a guide based only on those. And the difference is night and day. Like for a product launch, instead of getting generic advice, you get the specific framework from someone who has actually done it and gotten real results. Now we have the expert anchor, the perfect system, but a perfect system is useless if it doesn't fit your specific life or business. That leads us to the second problem. The AI doesn't know you. We have the how from the experts. We need the what from you. For that, we use step two, the context extraction. LLMs work best with context. Often more is better, but coming up with every relevant detail off the top of your head is actually really difficult. Usually you'll pull in what you think it needs, then the response comes back and you realize you forgot a bunch of important stuff. The problem is that once an AI is mid-response, it's much harder to restructure. It has like momentum. It tries to stick to the direction it's already going. It works significantly better when all that context is there from the very first prompt. The best solution is to flip the script. Ask the AI to interview you. And do this in a separate chat from the first step, by the way. Use a prompt like this. I vibe-coded a productivity app for managing daily tasks and goals. Ask me a series of questions, one by one, to gather all the context you'll need to create the best possible launch strategy. 
do not move on until I've answered each one. And there'd be a bit of customization in that prompt. And depending on what you're doing, you can limit the number of questions you want it to give, like the top 10 most irrelevant context gathering questions. But go through that interview, let it dig into your budget, your target audience, your personal goals, whatever's relevant to what you're working on. In this case, it was a made up product. So I'm just having Gemini answer the questions for me with made up details. But once you're done, give it one final command. Now compile all of my answers into a single structured context file that summarizes everything we've discussed. You're essentially building a custom brief for your project. And this extra step, depending on what you're doing, can take a few more minutes up front, but it can save you hours of frustrating back and forth later. When you're running a YouTube channel, managing a team, or multiple projects, the real productivity killer isn't the work itself, it's the chaos around it. Teams often spend more time searching for, organizing, and managing information than actually using it. I've been testing Dropbox Dash, and it's solved this problem for me. Dropbox Dash is the AI teammate that understands your work. It helps small teams find, organize, and share content, including images, video, and more, all from one place, so they can move faster and stay focused. I'll run through the three coolest features I've been using. First, universal search. It searches across all your connected apps, Google Drive, Notion, Slack, Gmail, Canva, and over 30 others. But what makes it powerful is it understands context, not just file names. I can search all my thumbnails and it finds all of them, even the ones where I don't have the word thumbnail in them. I usually just type TN. And I guess you can tell how often I reuse the same thumbnail template too. But this is super helpful. No more searching through folders, workspaces, and apps. I have one search bar for everything. Then there's Dash Chat, which goes beyond just finding files. Say I have a long partnership contract. I can ask Dash, what are the key deliverables and deadlines? And it summarizes all of them for me. Or if I need to draft an email to a partner, I can tell Dash what to include and it generates a draft using my actual work context. It knows your files, so the answers are specific to your projects. My favorite feature is stacks. These are smart, shareable workspaces that keep everything organized. I create a stack for each project and drop everything related to it in one place. Docs, designs, Slack threads, YouTube videos, whatever. Then I share the entire stack with my team in one click. Everyone gets access to everything they need in one organized view. No more where's the latest version or did we already do this messages. And no more context switching between apps. Everything just lives where your team can find it. Try Dash with your team today. I've got the link in the description below. And thanks to Dropbox for sponsoring this video. So we have the plan and we have the context. Now we need to fuse them together. This brings us to the third and final problem, finding the right words to make the AI execute. In other words, writing the perfect prompt. Instead of trying to guess what the AI needs to hear, we're going to use a meta prompt. This is essentially a prompt that asks the AI to prompt itself. AI models are trained on all the best prompting techniques, so they're usually better at writing instructions for themselves than we are. And I used just a big one-shot meta prompt that I've modified to include everything we gathered. And it formats it into the RiceCo framework, which I've taught on this channel before. It looks like this. You are a senior AI prompt engineer. I am providing you with two data blocks. Blocks. This is where you paste in the master guide. This is where you paste the context file. And if you've never seen this style, it uses XML tags to contain the information in between those. And it helps the AI understand what's separate from the main prompt. This has been in a lot of documentation recently. It helps a lot. Then after that, your mission, synthesize these blocks into a single master execution prompt using the RiceCo framework. It has the requirements for the master prompt, the role, instruction, context, examples, constraints, and output format. It also mentions do not execute the plan yet. Simply output the final RiceCo prompt for me to use in a clean session. So I will come up here and paste in the expert anchor plan and ChatGPT will understand exactly where that guide is because of these XML tags. Then I'll come down here and input the context file. That's all I need to do, let's send that off. We actually looked through this, it looks huge because we had all of that information in here. That was all gathered very quickly and efficiently and effectively by ChatGPT. Now that will come back with a master prompt that is grounded in expert logic and personalized to your specific life, business, or project. And from there, it's a simple copy and paste in a new chat. And you might be wondering if you could do this whole system at once, like merge all three steps into one mega prompt. If you try that, you'll likely hit a wall that researchers call plan abandonment. It's when an AI tries to plan and execute a complex task at the same time. Its attention splits and it defaults back to generic advice. By separating the planning from the synthesis, you're letting the AI focus 100% of its energy on one thing at a time. 
Now, obviously I can't just sit here and read this whole response off, but it should be very clear. This is just so much better than the original response I got. It's not even close. I use a specific example where you would want it to be a very long explanation that's super thorough, requires a lot of context on your end. This is a pretty high stakes business decision when you're launching a product. So for that situation, you would want to be extremely thorough like this. Depending on what you're working on, this response could be far shorter. But I thought a more elaborate and high stakes example would be better to showcase. So there it is. Find your expert anchor, perform a context extraction, and use a meta prompt for synthesis. It's three simple steps that completely change the quality of what you get from AI tools. Instead of just chatting and hoping it gets you there, you're giving it the exact tools it needs to actually deliver. So give this a try on your next project and let me know how it goes. And if you want to go much deeper into learning all aspects of AI, we have a full course platform at Futurepedia with over a thousand lessons across over 30 AI courses. You'll find full learning paths on everything from ChatGPT to video generation to coding with AI and everything in between. It's all included in one subscription. You can get a seven day free trial using the link in the description. Or I left this on the best for viewer setting. So YouTube really thinks you will like watching this video next.